Mm-hmm. So, let's uh, talk challenges. All right, I know what you guys are thinking. Where have you been and are you wearing pants? Um, no comment, but I've been in New York. Had a friend's wedding to go to. Had some touristic stuff to do and see in New York City. It was awesome, but that's not this video. That's next video. This video, we're doing challenge five. So let's recap four and let's see five. Thanks for waiting. Here we go. Welcome back, guys. Try and fly photography. Justin Ramsey, how you guys doing today? How have you been? It's been so long. I'm sorry, I apologize. Got a little busy, but I missed you. I miss making these videos for you. Hope you guys are still enjoying them and you're not bored of me yet. Anyways, let's uh, recap challenge four just real quick. Three different emotions, single subject, but it couldn't be a person. So you can't show sorrow through that person and then show happiness through that person. I wanted something else, like non-emotive, as a subject matter. You could use people in it, but I want your subject to be non-human. So, let's take a look at what I got, yeah? You wanna see it, yeah? Let me see if I can do this with the camera. Ooh, yes, yes, you're shaking your head, okay. I don't know if that works, but let's do it. All right, guys, so bang, bang, bang. I don't know why I chose a gun, but I chose a gun. I was originally gonna do like some jewelry or something, but I don't know. I just, maybe it's because I went to New York and I'm like, I'm gonna be American. America. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love America. I do like my gun. I don't need it, but whatever. It is a fun prop as long as you do it safely. So someone made a comment that my safety was on for one of the shots and I'm like, hmm. Well, when the gun is pointed at me, I make double, triple, quadruple sure that it's empty, not loaded, none in the chamber, any of that stuff. And then why not put the safety on just as one more step? So yeah, if you do shoot a gun or anything that is not safe, make sure to do it right. No photograph is worth dying for. Sorry, but it's not. Anyways, let's get to the images, huh? Which one should I do first? Which one? I have three options. Hmm. Let's do the flower one first. Just to let you guys know, I've been on a black and white kick lately. It's a little more timeless and I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it, pushing myself again. Again, comfort box, stepping out. Cause why challenges? And that's what we're doing here. It's what it's all about. That and learning and fun. Of course, of course. So uh, anyways, this first image I got my gun and I got some flowers from the table and I put them all on the table and I laid them down and whatnot using only natural light, just quick I don't know, it took me like five minutes or so. Positioned them, got the light how I wanted it, got the depth of field, tried, you know, different options with that. So what was in focus, what wasn't, my framing, my composition, all that stuff. Um, turned out I like this one the best. Again, I'm not going to tell you which emotion I'm trying to invoke. I just want to invoke three different emotions from you all. So let me know in the comments which photo invokes the most emotion and which one you prefer, which one you just like, anything like that. You know what? You just comment whatever the hell you want to comment. I'd love to hear from you. Anyways, sorry, try not to make this too long and boring for you guys. Got to get through it. It's like an exercise. Got to get that heart rate up. Got to pump, got to pump, got to pump, 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 pump. No, you, what? Okay, anyways, um, this one I recreated from a shot I did like almost a decade ago and I titled it Addiction, something like that. Just throwing lots of addictions in there. Now the original one, I was naked and that was, there was on a stool and I had drugs. I mean, like ibuprofen and Claritin and allergy pills, vitamins, stuff like that. Flour for cocaine, money, which you can't really fake, cigarettes, which I already smoke, and then some alcohol, which occasionally I drink. So it was kind of nice to just put them all on the stool and of course, me being me when I was me earlier, got naked, threw myself in the background, kind of out of focus, put a blue gel over the light, clicked it away. I was like, okay, this is really cool. I like it. Anyways, fast forward to yesterday or today or whenever I took this shot, kind of got inspired by it and like, let's do it again. Except this is YouTube, kids may watch. So let's drop me as the nudist and then throw the gun in there because that's the subject matter that I chose for these three emotions. I figure why not? Shot number three, option three for the emotion. I really like this shot. Um, it's not super emotive in my opinion, but I do think it does spark a different emotion and a different feel from my other two images. Um, again, have the gun. It's pointed basically at me. Again, 
It's not loaded, none in the chamber, and the uh, safety's on. So I checked it, the model checked it, and the model's friend, who was kind of a support who was in the room, also checked it. So we had three people saying it was empty, everything was safe. So I go, went ahead and shot. Had her do a bikini. It was a last minute thing. She, I let her use one of my uh, button up shirts and stuff, kind of a boudoir aspect. And uh, yeah, I really liked how it turned out. The original image I sh showed her off just a Google search was this girl, big butt, glasses, looking down at the camera, you know, barrel of the gun straight down the lens, all this stuff. I'm like, let's do something kind of like this. So yeah, ended up shooting a friend. She came over, I don't know, 10 at night the day that I'm like, hey, I need this. Would you help me out with it? You know, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So she came over, we got dressed. Well, I was already dressed. She got dressed, put her swimsuit on, put my shirt on, all this stuff. And we got the gun again, double checked, made sure it was safe, whatnot. And I'm lying on my back, shooting up at her, put her in some heels. And we just tried lots and lots of different options of how to stand, how to hold the gun. You know, was it up here? Was it down there? Was it pointing around the gun? You know, Tons of stuff, just tons of options, which I always recommend. Shoot more than what you want. Because this image that I got was not the original image that I had in my mind when I hit her up and say, hey, would you help me out? Would you want to model for me? I like this shot much, much better than the images that were closer to what I had sent her. So, yeah, so a uh, small depth of field, open aperture, which means a small number, but your aperture is wide open. So not a lot is in focus, just in case you weren't clear on that focused right on the uh, barrel of the gun shot it wide open again lying on my back looking up at her gives her much more power I had her put her thumb through the bikini and like start to pull it away kind of a seductive thing and then look away from the camera like oh someone's coming in and i'm about to shoot this guy like who are you just a very sexy look and turned out pretty nice i'm pretty proud of this image so uh thank you for modeling for me you know who you are uh, thank you all for joining in on challenge four. Let's stop yammering, Justin, and get to challenge five. Woohoohoo! All right. Challenge five. What's it gonna be, Justin? What's it gonna be? You might want to grab a friend for this one. Okay, so challenge five. We're gonna grab a friend, and we're gonna take two images, and we're gonna edit four. Okay, I'm like, wait, what's going on there? I'm, Justin, your math is dumb. I know. So, what I want you to do, you don't have to shoot with them, although it's always fun to get out with a friend and shoot alongside them. But basically, you're going to take two of your images, and your friend is going to take two images, and you're going to each edit your own, and then you're going to swap, and you're going to edit your friend's photo. Okay? So what I'm trying to accomplish with this is saying... If you guys go out and shoot together, you can look at the same tree and completely get two completely different options. Something that you may have never even considered before or something they may not have seen. And then with editing the other photos, you get to edit your own, which is always, oh, oh yeah. But you get to see their editing choices and their styles and maybe see, oh, I never would have thought to do that. That's that's pretty cool. Okay. And then the same with them. So it's it's a mutual beneficial thing. I know, I know. It's uh, like the alligators and the birds that like clean their teeth. You know, they don't get eaten and the birds get to eat and clean their teeth. So, uh, yeah. Alligators get a good brushing. Mm. Ginger bites. We bite holes in teeth. We bite holes in teeth. What? Okay. Should I like focus and be serious? No, I agree. Anyways, subjects can be whatever you want. Compositions. Anything you want. If you don't have a friend close in town that is a photographer or whatnot, hit up someone on Facebook across the country, across the world. It doesn't matter. If you can't get out and shoot with someone, that's okay. Just make sure you send them two images, they send you two images, you edit it all up, and then let's talk about them. Send me your images, guys. I want to see them. I really, really want to. I will leave a description below for the hashtag if you are on Instagram or my Facebook page so that you can direct message me, Facebook message me, text me, whatever the terminology is, hit me up with those images. I want to see them. I want to see them. I want to see them. I want to see that you guys are doing your homework. Not that it's homework. I just want to make sure you guys are having fun and shooting away. So, uh, yeah, 
Justin Rambles again. I guess I should wrap it up. Start filming the video about New York. Until next time. Keep shooting, friends. Ooh, it's out of focus. Oh, there it is. Oh, it got me. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.